but they have a Canon power shot camera that use uh, double A batteries and um, today I'm going to show you how I hack this camera to use a higher capacity lithium ion batteries like this uh, to make it run longer a lot longer and also later on I'm going to show you how I use this camera as a uh, dash cam camera for the car so let's get started right so this uh, camera here is a Canon PowerShot SX series and it is uh, SX 150IS and there are a lot of SX series camera that use double A batteries two double A batteries so uh, when I first got it I used uh, these um, Energizer double A alkaline batteries and uh, they don't last very long they last for like five minutes or so if I record video and um, can't last any longer so move on to the Sanyo Antelope rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries and these are great um, this lasts for like you give me double the run time of this so about if this give me five minutes I would say I can get about 10 minutes of video 10 to 15 minutes of video for this camera but that's still not enough for me I have to carry this a lot of these in my uh, camera bag and I have to replace this very often so um, I went on and um, use this uh, 18650 lithium ion battery pack and uh, it works great this is 4 volts uh, at full charge about 4.2 volts uh, but uh, it's a little bit high voltage than these two so this camera runs on 3 volts so when you install the battery there in series 1.5 volts each it's about 3 volts but I found out it works fine with 4 volts so next I'm going to show you how I install this camera uh, this, this battery for, for my camera And the reason why I choose to use a lithium ion battery uh, for my camera is because I got two reasons. Number one is um, is cost. I got this for free from old laptops and power tools and whatnot. Um, these, the Antelope, the Sanyo Antelope, they're really expensive and uh, they don't even last that long. So it can last longer and it's cheap. So that's the main reason why I wanna use these. But the problem is it's a little bit too big and doesn't fit in the camera. So I'm gonna show you what I did. I got an 18650 battery holder and I saw the, the wires to the positive and the negative terminal of this uh, holder. And then install my battery and then come out of here it's two wires I saw the two screws onto the wires now uh, the if I measure between these two uh, screws I got four volts so what I did is I just installed the screws into the uh, battery compartment so I have to use a screw that is the size of the double A batteries. So it has to be the same size. You can see there. And then also, because they're connected in series, on the top, the the cover, uh, it's uh, it's got a metal bracket that when you install the batteries in here, it will allow two batteries to be connected in series like so right so the positive and term, uh, negative terminal is down there so I just have to install these these screws into the battery compartment like so and that's it now let's see if we can put it in right because uh, 
on my camera there's a little rubber cover here that allows a wire to go through you see there this is um, Canon made the camera uh, all, almost all of them come with this so that you can install a dummy battery here and then you can install a power adapter uh, to the dummy battery so it can run on a, uh, a power adapter but I don't want to run on a power adapter I want to run on a battery So, let's put this in. Like so. Now my wire can safely go through the slot right there. Close the hatch. I'm good to go. I'm gonna turn it on. See there? Whoop, just fine. Okay. And then next is a place to mount this battery. Right? You can't have it dangling around like this. So I just put a couple of velcro on the case, on the battery case, and a couple of velcros on the camera itself on this side, on the left side, uh, the right side actually. You look at it from the front and put it on the velcro like that and it will hold the the battery and the battery casing just fine. I've been using this for like over three years now and it works like a charm. So the next question is how much more time do I get when I run on a single 18650 battery pack? Uh, well if this give me five minutes uh, of video this give me about 10 to 15 minutes this one here give me about an hour or more depends on what kind of uh, 18650 lithium ion battery you use this is an older battery and it's old it's used so I think the capacity is about 1800 milliamp hour if you have a better um, battery pack like this Panasonic um, 18650 it's about roughly twice energy density as this so it can give me two hours uh, of video time if I record video on my camera two hours of video on a single 18650 that's a long time and the best part is I got this for free and it is rechargeable so when I run out of juice I can always recharge it or just have another one and then throw it in and then recharge this one. I never have to worry about uh, you know, uh, buying, spending money to buy new batteries every now and then. Alright, so let me show you again how I uh, put this together. So the wire coming out of here go through around here on the bottom part and then through the hole right there into the uh, battery compartment very simple that's it and uh, there believe it or not uh, there are some manufacturer still produce camera run on double A battery as of last year uh, almost all major manufacturer uh, like Nikon, uh, Panasonic, uh, Fujifilm, they all produce camera that runs on double A batteries. So this one got two double A batteries. Uh, most other camera run on four double A batteries. So um, if you have a camera that runs on four of these, you can use two uh, lithium ion in series. Uh, to make it around seven or eight volts, uh, it still works. And let me show you uh, my other camera, the digital SLR. This kind uh, use a battery pack that is 2S lithium ion 2S. There, 7.2 volts. 
So it's a 2S uh, lithium ion battery. And most, almost all camera use this kind of battery pack between 7 and 8 volts. So I guess if you have a camera that can run on four of these and that's around six volts, right? One and a half volts each. You can use two of these in series. Uh, let me see. Let's get two of these in series, positive to negative. And then uh, you get about seven or eight volts out of the terminals here and you can use you know, replace with the four double A batteries. Alright, so next I'm going to show you um, how I use this camera as a dash cam video camera for the car. And the reason why I want to use it for a dash cam video camera is because, um, well, uh, this camera is old and I have replaced it with a better camera. And uh, I don't have any other use for it so I thought I might as well use for something else more useful uh, plus it is small and portable easily fit in my pocket so I can carry it you know, everywhere with me um, it's I mean in a lot of situations where uh, when you need a camera the most and you don't have a camera uh, having this having a good big and bulky camera at home does not help, right? Uh, only helps with, if you have the camera with you. So, anyway, so I turned this into a dash cam uh, video camera and it's been uh, working great for me. So all I did is I put more velcro on the bottom here. I leave the space for the tripod but uh, I got velcro on the bottom and on the dashboard of my car I also put velcro on the dashboard so I just have to put this onto the dashboard and it will stay and it will make a great uh, dash cam video camera I'm going to go to my car and show you what I did right, so I'm in my car right now it's getting dark outside and uh, I got my flashlight on, so hopefully you can see this enough. Uh, there you go. So all I did is just put a couple of Velcro on my dashboard like that. And then uh, with the Velcro on the bottom of my camera, it will stick really well onto this like that. And that's it. It doesn't go anywhere. It's very stable. When you turn the car left or right, or it doesn't matter what it is, so it's, it's stable. Turn it on here. There you go. Of course, it's dark, so <laughs> can't see anything. But uh, that's it. So when I'm done, I just turn it off, remove the camera, and put my pocket, and it goes everywhere with me so I can use it uh, when I need it the most well, so my next video clips are going to be um, about this camera being actually used on the road Alright folks, and uh, that's all I have for now, how to turn your AA powered camera into a lithium ion <laughs> uh, battery powered, and uh, it gives you a lot more runtime.
a lot more, probably around three to four times uh, the runtime. And also, a lot uh, costs you a lot less. In fact, it's, it's free for me. I don't have to spend any more uh, money on a battery for this camera. And uh, that's all I have for now. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.